Hey guys, today we've got a 36 Nash Lafayette with a small block Chevy and a giant 871 blower on it. And today we need to upgrade the radiator hoses. We can't have these ugly universal radiator hoses on this car. That's obviously very well done. So to make this easy, we're gonna use our radiator AN adapter clamp. And to get started here today, the first thing we're gonna do is get the coolant out of this thing. So let's do that and then rip the hoses off. All right, now that the upper hose is off, the thermostat housing can come off next. Now we'll install a new thermostat housing with an A and end on it. In our case, we need to use a 90 degree end to get behind the blower belts, real tight clearance. We also have straight fittings on our website. We'll start to assemble our A and hose now. Um, I like to get one end on first. Since we have a nice clean end to start with, we'll use that to our advantage to get one on and then we'll measure the other end where we need to cut the excess and attach it. So we have, you know, our AN end and then our adapter piece. This little rubber gasket is gonna slide right in here. And then we've got our threaded adapter. Make sure you use a lot of lubrication when you're putting these together. But uh, this will start like this, clamp goes on. This will clamp around the upper radiator outlet. And then as you tighten this down, it's gonna clamp this rubber gasket against the radiator outlet. All right, so as you get this snugged up, pull it forward so the clamp catches on the back of the bulge and then we can tighten it down. I'll throw it on my 90 that I'm gonna use for the upper part of this hose and that way I can measure where I need to cut on the hose that we just put a straight end on. So I'll do that now. This end's gonna have plenty of rubber debris in it, so make sure you wash it out with some water to flush all that debris out. All right, that's gonna conclude the upper radiator hose section. To do the lower, follow the exact same steps, refill with coolant, fire your engine, check for leaks, and you're done. Right, guys now that it's been run and pressure tested and everything is good no leaks we're done so i really hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you learned something from it if you have any questions contact us by our tech support line or email us support at cbfracing.com thanks